Welcome everyone. Welcome to Granny J. Clay and this is Joni. I just thought I would pop my head in just for a few minutes and show you what I've been working on. And uh, you can put a, a little note if you'd like in the comments if you want to see a tutorial on this. Um, I just started, I had done this years ago and someone mentioned to me <laughs> they wanted to know how I got the little black specks in the in the clay and so I thought well I'm just going to share this with everybody but I'll do that in the tutorial but, but I wanted to show you what I have been making uh, these are the earrings that I've made and um, let me just bring in this is the necklace that I've made for those earrings maybe if I pull it up a little bit you can see it better and uh, here is the necklace I made for these earrings. Whoops, got it twisted around here. Sorry about that. And just bring that down a little bit. Back up so you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, for the earrings over here, I made this necklace. So basically what I did was I made um, a sheet of clay. And I did different things with the sheet of clay. You can probably tell on this one that there is a texture here. Um, and there's a texture in the bigger piece of the necklace as well. On this one, I did not texture it. Um, and the stripes are more muted in this one than they are in this one. Uh, stripes are very clear. And as a friend of mine said, they're very crisp. <laughs> she likes very crisp lines. And there is a way to do that. If if you want to me to make a tutorial on it, I will certainly do it. But it's a lot of fun to do. And it, it um, remember when I showed you, let me see if I can pull out this um, cutter that I, I hooked together with some magnets and I made some stripes. I think I showed you that last week sometime. Uh, that's what I used to cut the stripes of clay. And I used different colors and I can show you what that is as well. Uh, when I do the tutorial, but I wanted you to see it. Um, it has sort of a, I guess what I would call um, a speckled effect. And um, I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple, very simple. And uh, these are some clay beads up here. Oh, excuse me. No, they're not. Those are not. Those are not clay beads. Um, these are clay beads. I was looking at those and I thought, no, they're not. <laughs> Anyway, no, they're not, but they're stones that I bought from a place called Dakota Stones. And uh, they seem to go well with this, with this necklace and with this one, too. Um, this is clay. These are clay. All of this is clay. This earring, the earrings are clay, of course, and the round pieces are clay. And this is clay. And this is clay and I, I made this a certain way and I can show you how to do that too but let me just bring out some pieces that I have that are waiting uh, to be worked on and maybe if I just do this here's one um, this had the same texture as this one but I added something to it and I'll show you how to do that if I do the tutorial if you desire to see the tutorial and here's a longer one and I put some some decoration in the middle of that as well this one did not have texture like I put on this one on the back you have the pretty clay that sparkles and let's see and I've got maybe I'll just move these over a little bit I've got the earrings that go with this Or you could even make these into tiny necklaces and not have earrings. You could, depending on what you use, if you use gold or if you use silver, you could just have gold or silver earrings. And then I have, let me just pull these out too. Um, I made some to go with that, and that has texture on it as well. So um, I really like the colors. The colors I, I love because it's they're very springy and light and airy, and I like that. Uh, each necklace is a little bit different. As you can see, I used beads all the way to the um, closure here. 
for this particular necklace. Um, with this necklace, I just, um, oh, sorry about that. I've got some things in, uh, in getting uh, hardened in the resin UV machine. Anyway, um, on this one, I just used some chain. I only made the uh, necklace go up about so far, you know, on the chain. And then I switched to a piece of chain. And I like that look too. And this is, this is the same way. Um, these, of course, are beads. And then I... I switched to a chain and I still have to break this open and put a closure on it because I don't want this one to go over your head because it's not um, I don't think it's large enough so that's what I have been doing late oh and then these also let me just uh, let's see what I can do I can tip these out in my hand and show you but I had leftover clay and so I made balls of clay out of all the colors that I used for for these and um, that's what I used on this necklace, this ball right here. And also on this necklace. So they come in handy if you have extra clay, just uh, roll it into a ball. And, uh, and of course on these earrings right here. Uh, anyway, you can roll it into a ball. Some are a little bit different color than the others, but yet I used all the same colors. And there is some translucent clay clay excuse me in that as well so I just wanted to show you uh, what I've been doing and um, like I said if you would like to see me do a video on that I would be happy to do it just let me know but that's all I wanted to show you for today um, I do have something just just now coming out of the UV light so let me just push these off and I'll share them with you but it's not anything I'm gonna they're probably going to be a little bit warm. These are, are somewhat the same. And I always put them on this to put them in UV. Um, but yet they're different. This is a different clay. It's called Pardo clay. It, they make it in Germany. And it's all of the clay in this batch is translucent. But I put a backing, and it's, can you see what happened there? Do you see how the resin leaked? Um, all I do is I, I chip some of the little pieces off, which is really easy because it's still warm, and then I sand the back. But I put clay on the back, and if I hadn't, you could probably see this um, through this because it's all, all of the clay here. The, the, it's called lilac and yellow and white and orange. Uh, they're all translucent. So uh, these can be necklaces. This can be necklaces and earrings. Um, let's see if I had something else in here. Oh, I did. I had just two beads. And let me just get those off here. And these these turned out like this. These two little beads look like poly, uh, lollipops, don't they? <laughs> anyway, I will take them off of here in just a a few minutes but I just thought well as long as you heard the beep uh, of the timer I'll just show you what is coming out so I have to clean these up yet because I don't want the backs to look like that and all I do is I take a piece of sandpaper like this and I lay it on and I go back and forth and back and forth until it comes off and then I use um, a lower grit sandpaper um, so it doesn't look so rough on the back. And then I apply resin to the backs of those as well. So it's always a process, you know. It's, everything's a process, it seems like. But that's all I wanted to show you today. Let me know again in the comments if you would like to see um, something like this next. And I would be happy, happy to do it. So just let me know. I hope you're having a blessed day. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.